Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you are happy and smiling. It is so sunny outside, I am buzzing, I don't know why. If you are new to my channel, my name is Rosina and I create makeup and lifestyle content on this channel. So if you want to join our growing family, then don't forget to subscribe down below. But for today's video, I thought as it's sunny outside, I need to do a summer makeup look. Obviously we're in spring currently, but summer is just around the corner and I am so excited. So I'm going to see if I can create something dewy, but fun as well, because I don't want it to be like your basic kind of subtle summer look. So if you want to see what look I'm going to be creating for you guys today, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by doing my skin. Now this is the most important step, I think, of a summer look because you want it to be something that's natural but I am obsessed with full coverage so I want it to be a bit of both. So I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and I'm just going to rub this into my skin and I focus this mostly on my nose and my cheek area because that's the area that I find my pores to be a bit more enlarged and on my forehead. Now this can be done if you have texture or not because I have like spots and marks everywhere so this is what I do if I want that dewy nat natural look. So I'm going to take my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, this is in the shade 4, I'm going to give it a good shake and I'm going to pump three pumps on the back of my hand. And I'm also going to take my NARS Tinted Moisturiser. This is in the shade Finland. Again, shake, shake, shake. And I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand as well. Now I have quite a lot of product, but as I said, I like it to be full coverage, but dewy. And these two foundations, or my foundation tinted moisturiser, are gorgeous. And I'm going to take that on a Smith 115 brush and I'm just going to buff that into my skin using circular motions and this just creates that lovely dewy look. Now if you're a bit like me I'm not a massive fan of using brushes like I don't use them for all of my makeup looks. My hair is really in my face today. I don't use them for all of my makeup looks. It's mainly if I want more natural looks. So I will show you what I do because I don't just go in with a brush because I just don't like the finish it gives. But this brush is really nice. Feels really soft and it's really good for buffing everything onto your face. So I'm going to try and avoid going too close to my under eye area. I want that just to be concealer when I get there just because if you put too much product under your eyes, that's when you start to look a little bit cakey. Okay, so once I have all of my product on my face, I feel like I look crazy. So what I do is I go in with a damp sponge and I just dab out the excess. And this just blends it all together and ensures I don't have any streakiness and ensures it's nicely blended into all the areas that it needs to be. I'm also gonna take a little bit more on the back of my hand because I have so much product. But using the brush ensures that you get the sheerer coverage and enables it to sort, I don't know how to put it, it kind of like mixes with your skin a bit better. And also by mixing the foundation with a tinted moisturizer, you're cutting down on the full coverage. So this is how my skin is looking so far. Highly, highly recommend getting a tinted moisturiser and your foundation and mix them together. Or you could mix your foundation with a moisturiser to give that sort of sheerer coverage. Highly, highly recommend. I'm just gonna nip off camera and just do my eyebrows just because this would be when I would usually do them. And I'll be back and we can finish off the rest of this. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows. As always, I like sort of like thicker eyebrows. Um, not thicker, more intense eyebrows. I don't like the whole natural eyebrows. 
I don't know why I just can't pull them off so I'm just going in with my Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan and I'm doing the TikTok sort of hack where they lift up the face this one is a must if you are doing anything with your face it is to not drag your concealer so far down and just let it lift up your face a little bit and I'm just going to blend it out with the sponge I will link everything that I use down below as well for you guys so you can go check it out these sponges are so so good and they just blend everything seamlessly And then I'm going to go in with a little bit more, but I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. Now obviously we need some colour back in our skin. So I'm going in with my Chanel Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. So I'm taking that on my sponge. And this is the best way to apply this stuff. And all I do is I start from the back here and I blend down a little bit, but mostly it's all focused here. I can just blend, blend, blend. And then if you think you've gone too far down, you just go underneath with the sponge and just blend everything together. A more natural look is all about the blend. You can make anything look natural as long as it's blended out seamlessly. So I do the same on the other cheek as well. Just bounce that on there and just blend it all together. And again, most of it is concentrated on the tops of my cheek and then lightly dispersed around the rest of my face. And I'm going to pinch my sponge like this and I just place some of that colour into my temple and see how it just makes my face look a bit more lifted and the same on the other side. And for the forehead I just blend into my hairline and more into the temples of my cheek, of my cheek the temples of my forehead, sorry. Now this is one of my favourite bits is doing my lips because I like to have bigger lips. I am looking at getting lip filler. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. Callum is 100% against it, but I'm going to have a look and see what I think. But I just like to press it around the edge of my lips and it creates that like poutier look. I do around the top as well. Now my nose, this is the bit that I find the hardest because I don't want it to look muddy, but I also want it to look snatched. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down both sides of my nose and underneath. And this just brings it all together as well because if you weren't to do your nose, it looks so sort of in the center of your face. Now the next step is to set the bronzer into place without making it look matte and my favourite way to do this is to just go over using the bronzer that you want to use and not setting it down first. So I'm just going to take my bronzer, that's what it looks like, I swirl my brush around and then I'm just going to tap off most of the excess and then all you do is just bounce your brush onto your bronzer like so and by doing this you're just setting it in place but you're not mattifying it too much I'm not going to do any more than that and the same on the other side just bounce your brush onto your skin 
and I only swirl my brush around in the pan once and then I go onto my skin and then on the same on your forehead this way you're not disturbing any product as well and ensuring that you're only putting a little bit onto your skin the nose is the hardest bit I think but for a natural look I don't want it to look too snatched like just bronzed enough that it looks like part of my makeup but not so bronzed that I look like I've been punched in the nose the next product to go in with is blush and I usually like a cream blush but I haven't found one that I absolutely love yet so I'm going to go in with my powder brush and this is the NARS blush in orgasm and I'm just going to hit this onto the tops of my cheeks I'm not going to hit it too much onto the apples and again I use that same patting motion and not too much product so I literally tap my uh, I tap my brush into my product tap it off and then pat that onto my skin and then the same on the other side and just light pats and then we take a little bit down my nose as well oh just I just love this look again I'm just gonna blend it all out and this is also when I blend out my under eye so I can set it all in place without making it look creasy and to set my under eye I'm just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder usually I take this on a sponge but today I'm going to take it on a little fluffy brush and I'm just going to pat under my eye down the side of my nose And the same under my eye. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in Diffused Light. And I'm going to take this on a massive brush. And I like to use this to set the rest of my face because it has that like sheen to it. So it's not like a matte finish. And I'm just going to pat that all over my skin. And this just sets everything in place. It's not too much. I feel like I need a little bit more blush because I love blush. It's so pretty. So I'm going to take a bit more of Orgasm and just pat that onto my cheeks again. This also has a sheen to it. Most of these products have sheen or like a bit of shimmer so give that like more natural look so we're almost finished with our skin the next step is to highlight so I'm going to go in with my MAC soft and gentle highlight this is the mineralized skin finish and I take this on a big sort of fan brush so this is more of like a bit like that ambient lighting powder this kind of goes everywhere and isn't so sort of concentrated so we just dust this all over our face and then we do go in with a little bit more like of a concentrated highlighter and I love to use the Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light highlighter that's such a tongue twist I really struggle with it so I take this on a smaller brush and this I really like to concentrate on my nose especially on that little tip bit there and also on my cupid's bow and onto my chin and I also press this into the corner of my eye yes I do this before doing any sort of eyeshadow but it just brightens up that inner corner so much 
and this is the finished skin so you could just then put on some mascara and a bit of like lip gloss and then go out so I want to do something a bit more colourful with this summer look so I'm actually going to do like an a yellowy orangey kind of sunset eye but soft but with the colour still there so I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm going to take this yellow shade and I'm literally going to buff this into the crease of my eye I love, oh I'm going to zoom you guys in actually here you go it's a bit of a better angle Yellow isn't usually a colour I would go for, but I think I asked like one of my friends what sort of look she would want to watch on my channel and she said she wanted a summer look but with like a sunset eye. So that's what I'm going to do today. I actually do love the colour yellow actually. Like I forget how much I like it until I use it again. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I actually really like this colour. I'm still only using one shade which is the yellow shade. The next colour that I'm going to go in with is still yellow but it's more of a mustardy yellow and that is the shade Cabana from my Anastasia Riviera palette. It's just slightly darker. actually really like how this is looking okay and the final color I'm gonna go in with is very risky but I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange shade and then just blend that out a bit more and that will create the more sort of sunset kind of look and just the tiniest amount of this I don't want too much just to add another color I love how this looks. I never do anything like this. And then I'm just going to take that yellow shade along the lower lash line as well. And then I'm going to take a bit of Cabana as well. And then to add the shimmer and the glow back into our eyes, I'm going to take the shade Moon Dust from my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette. And I'm just going to pat that onto my eye. This is like the, my favourite shimmer from this palette. I want it to still look sort of blown out. I don't want it to look too put together. That's why I don't want to do a cut crease. And I'm also going to put the shade Bubbly into my inner corner. And then just blend it all together. So my final step to complete this look is I'm going to take the shade Coco, which is this shade here, in my Rose Gold Remastered palette. And I'm going to do a browned wing liner. So I'm going to put a bit of that brown along my lower lash line just on the outer corner of it and then a little bit on the water, not waterline, my lash line on my top lashes I actually love it when I put brown eye um, liner on I think it just looks so good and with this eyeshadow it kind of looks like a sunflower okay I'm just going to go off camera I'm going to do my other eye finish off my makeup and I'll be back to show you the final look so this is my finished summer look with the eyes all complete I've just put on some mascara that is it and I've done my lips I really like this look I 
love the brown eyeliner i think it's so sort of subtle but it's there it kind of gives my eye shape and definition without black eyeliner so i really like that and you could just do it without doing the yellow eyeshadow you could just have the brown eyeliner on and you're good to go I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Comment below what you think of this look and what other looks you'd like to see me do. I really like to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We are nearly at 200 subscribers and there is going to be a really special video when we reach 200. So if you haven't already, subscribe down below. I am uploading on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday at 7pm. So if you don't want to miss that. I will see you there. But other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day, evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.